today we have a great dessert. It's a pear ginger compote with our chocolate hot pot. Topped with a walnut crumble. It's, um, it's a great one for your dinner parties. It's great for your friends and it's great for yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make the compotes. We have to peel these pears and core them. Then we're gonna add in these ingredients, put it on the burner and reduce it down. And then we're gonna combine these chia seeds with the pineapple and then put that in and blend it. Perfect, should we get started? Let's do it. All the pears been chopped. Yeah. All three of them. Just like a rustic cut. And then we're just gonna put them in the pot. We're gonna add in some maple syrup. Okay. Just a little extra sweetness. Yeah, some ginger, powdered ginger. Cinnamon. And then a juice of a lemon. And I'm juicing that. Pineapple juice here? Yep. And chia seeds? Yep. going into the Vitamix in the blender, you always want to make sure to really start it at like the lowest point. Yes. Okay, and that's just so that everything doesn't go all over the roof. Exactly, you don't want that pressure, just blow it up. The smell of this is incredible. Okay, so, yeah. in a consistency that you're looking for, how would you explain this? Uh, kind of like a nice, smooth pudding kind of consistency. And just because we feel like being fancy, of course, fancy. you can use regular glasses, but we decided to go martini style sure today. Did. Yeah. So from here, you're going to make them, obviously they're still steaming a little bit. Yeah, so we're gonna set it in the fridge, let it set, and then we're gonna work on our chocolate. So your whole chocolate pot is just gonna be dates, almond milk, and then a hot melted chocolate, which you've now melted down. Okay. Uh, it just looked a little thin, so you just want to keep on adding until you get a nice kind of moussey texture. So for mine, it's pretty easy, just a few more ingredients. We have the silken tofu, which we're just putting on a cloth to absorb some of the water. That way when we're blending, it's not going to get too runny. So with that, we're just going to add the tofu right in. We have some maple syrup. A little bit of dark rum. Oh! This is extra fun. A little extra fun. <laughs> Some vanilla. And then a hint of chili. Oh. Which always brings out a little bit of the chocolate. And look how nice and glossy and shiny that is. So now, is this all thanks to the tofu that's going in? Yes. Incredible, but and you know what that's really what we did want to show is yeah. that there is a very quick version to be able to do this Yeah, and then of course there's also a way but you know you do see it's only extra couple ingredients exactly Yeah, if say someone who's following who doesn't want tofu or they don't want um, Even maple syrup, you know, this is a great alternative. Because it's very much whole food plant-based eating So I'm gonna put these back in the fridge let them set and give it a couple minutes so this part is our nice crunch part of the dessert. It's the walnut with the coconut sugar and a little bit of date to give it a bit of a clustery feel. Yeah, we're just gonna blitz it just till we get little clusters formed and then we're just gonna stop. The date should be broken up enough to help make a little clusters and then that's gonna be our topping. We can do this any way we want, all the way over or on one side. You wanna try? Let's try it. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> good? Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Better than good. Switch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think mine is really nice and creamy. I didn't get to it to the um, hair, oh, but I will okay. this time. Let's try to both get down to that. 
I love my job. Mm. You would never guess that this is only sweetened with dates. I really like that because it's just. Oh my gosh. They're almost the same sweetness, even though we use maple syrup for this one and dates for this one. They're pretty much the same. Mmm. And I do enjoy the consistency of the one with the tofu. Yeah. And you, again, would not know what's tofu. If you are looking for the ingredients, just click down below. We would also love you to hit subscribe and, you know, tune into every single one of these that we get to do. Of course, everything from desserts to breakfast options to snacks, lunches, and dinners. And, oh, um, good. I mean, what we're going to do from here on out is just eat out of a martini glass. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Plants out. Plants out.